Welcome to our journey through legendary cities and mythical lands. These tales have captivated adventurers and dreamers for centuries. Join us as we explore these fascinating stories of lost civilizations and enchanted cities that continue to spark our imaginations and fuel our quests for the unknown. Number 1. The Lost City of El Dorado El Dorado, that infamous lost city of gold, has been the ultimate treasure hunt for centuries. Tales were told of a place where gold isn't just currency, but literally coats everything. Even houses are made from it. It drew Spanish conquistadors deep into the South American jungles. They were convinced that a gilded metropolis awaited them. The legend started with tales of a golden king who covered himself in gold dust and dived into Lake Guatavita creating an irresistible allure for the gold-hungry adventurers. Number 2. Paititi, the fabled lost city of the Incas, is like the South American version of Atlantis, but with more llamas and less water. Legends say it's hidden somewhere in the dense rainforests of southeast Peru, packed with gold, silver, and other treasures left behind by the Incas to keep them out of Spanish hands. Imagine a glittering city, concealed by the thickest jungle, guarded by the spirits of ancient warriors and probably a few wild animals, explorers have been trying to find Paititi for centuries, lured by the promise of untold riches. The quests often read like adventure novels, complete with wild animal encounters, mysterious maps, and a lot of mosquito bites. Despite numerous expeditions, Paiti remains hidden, its secrets buried beneath layers of history and foliage. Whether it's a real place or just a captivating legend, Paiti continues to ignite the imaginations of adventurers and treasure hunters around the world. Number 3. Zazura That's Zazura, the mythical oasis in the Sahara. According to ancient Arab chronicles, this white city is guarded by black giants and surrounded by impenetrable sands, making it the ultimate challenger for lost city hunters. European explorers in the 19th and early 20th centuries were enchanted by tales of Zazura. They embarked on perilous journeys, armed with compasses, camels, and a belief that they'd strike gold, or at least stumble upon a secret garden. The Libyan desert's brutal heat and shifting sands, however, turned their adventures into grueling tests of endurance. They found mirages, mysterious inscriptions, and a lot of sand in their boots. But Zazura remained elusive. Even today, Zazura continues to captivate the adventurous spirit. Is it a real place, or just a figment of our collective imagination? A desert mirage that shimmers enticingly on the horizon. Number 4. Shambhala According to Tibetan Buddhist traditions, Shambhala is a place of peace, wisdom, and happiness, open only to those of pure heart. Nested somewhere in the peaks of the Himalayas, it is believed to be a fertile and lush land, with crystal clear rivers and majestic mountains. The story of Shambhala is deeply intertwined with the concept of the Kalki King, the prophesied ruler who will emerge from Shambhala in a time of great turmoil. According to legend, when the world is engulfed in chaos and moral decline, the Ki King will lead a great army to vanquish the forces of evil and restore peace and harmony. Number 5. Norumbega The first evidence of the story of Norumbega is traced back to the 16th century, thanks to European explorers who heard tales from Native Americans about a land overflowing with wealth. These accounts described a bustling city nestled by a great river, teeming with so much prosperity that it made the gold rush look like a flea market. Adventurers from Europe came rushing with dreams of easy riches. They set sail with hopes of finding this northern El Dorado. Among these dreamers was the French explorer Jean Alephonse, who claimed to have found Norumbega in 1542. He described it as a place of vast wealth and trade. However, when later explorers arrived, they found nothing more than dense forests, rivers, and the occasional moose giving them a bemused look. Despite the lack of tangible evidence, Norumbega became a symbol of the New World's potential for Europeans. Number 6. Kingdom of Prester John Prester John was said to be a Christian king, ruling over a fabulously wealthy and wondrous land somewhere far to the east, or perhaps in Africa. No one was quite sure, but the uncertainty only added to the allure of the story. 
The first evidence of this legend appeared in 12th century letters supposedly written by Prester John himself. These letters described a kingdom filled with wonders and marvels, from fountains of youth and unicorns to rivers of gold. The land was depicted as peaceful and prosperous, with Christians living in harmony. These stories captivated European monarchs and church leaders who saw the potential for cooperation in their battles against Muslim forces. Adventurers from all over embarked on quests to find the fabled kingdom, scouring the reaches of Asia and Africa guided by all sorts of unreliable maps. Number 7. Thule Thule is a land first mentioned by the ancient Greek explorer Pythias in the 4th century BCE. Said to be located north of Britain, it was described as a mysterious place with perpetual daylight during summer and an otherworldly landscape teeming with bizarre wildlife. For many, Thule represented the northernmost limit of the known world and the ultimate frontier. The enigmatic Picts, known for their distinctive body paint and warrior culture, were often associated with the people of Thule. These hardy individuals, adept at surviving harsh environments, added to the legends and myths surrounding Thule. Thule remained a popular subject in literature during the Middle Ages and the Renaissance. The allure of this mysterious place was so strong that it inspired the term Ultima Thule, referring to an unknown land beyond the edges of the known world. Number 8. Agartha A utopian realm, deep beneath the Earth's surface, hidden away from all we know. According to various legends, this is Agartha, populated by advanced beings and technology, harnessing mysterious energy and ancient wisdom. Often linked with the Hollow Earth theory, which posits that the planet is not a solid mass, but contains vast spaces within it, Agartha is believed to lie beneath what we know as planet Earth. These stories first gained traction in the 19th century, with some suggesting that the entrance to this hidden world can be found at the poles or through deep cave systems. To this day, there is no proof that this place exists, but that hasn't stopped explorers and adventurers from believing in this strange place from the tales, holding on to the idea that there is a better world deep within our Earth. Number 9. The Lost City of Z Deep within the Amazon rainforest, a mysterious lost city of Z has lured adventures from all over the world with a promise of riches and glory. The stories tell tales of a magnificent city filled with temples, plazas and advanced architecture hidden in the depths of the jungle. A British explorer from the 20th century, Percy Fawcett, became obsessed with this story of a lost city. Convinced that the stories were true, he embarked on multiple expeditions to find it. He was convinced of the existence of the city and an advanced civilization in pre-Columbian South America. The promise of a lost city filled with riches was irresistible, as Fawcett had his last expedition in 1925, never to be seen after, sparking numerous searches and wild theories of his whereabouts. Whether the stories are true or not is not important at this point, as the legend of this lost city continues to captivate the imagination, inspiring many works of popular fiction. Number 10. The White City Also known as La Ciudad Blanca, a legendary metropolis hidden deep within the dense Honduran rainforest, this mysterious city is said to be constructed entirely of gleaming white stone, shining brightly amidst the green lushness of the jungle. Many expeditions have been launched with the goal of finding this legendary city using helicopters and satellite imagery, all employed in the quest to find the White City. But the best they could find is some ruins that could be a further lead to the real deal. The White City continues to be a symbol of adventure and discovery, capturing imaginations and prompting many to venture into the unknown. Number 11. Mu, the legendary lost continent, is the stuff of fantastical tales and bold theories that blend science fiction with ancient mythology. Imagine an advanced civilization flourishing in the Pacific Ocean, boasting incredible technology and profound wisdom, only to vanish beneath the waves, leaving behind tantalizing clues and wild speculation. The concept of Mu first gained popularity in the late 19th century. This tantalizing idea was further popularized by James Churchwood, who wrote a series of books in the early 20th century detailing his supposed discovery of ancient tablets in India that chronicled Mu's history. Churchwood's Mu 
was a sprawling landmass populated by narco priests who possessed knowledge of powerful energy sources and could communicate telepathically. Number 12. Lemuria Kumari Kandam, the fabled sunken continent, is a tale that seamlessly blends ancient Tamil legends with a splash of underwater mystery. Imagine a sprawling landmass south of present-day India brimming with advanced civilizations, magnificent cities, and scholarly sages. According to Tamil literature and folklore, Kumari Kandam was the cradle of the Tamil people, a paradise lost to the depths of the Indian Ocean. Legends describe a series of cataclysmic events involving massive floods and tectonic shifts that swallowed Kumari Kandam whole, leaving behind only myths and tantalizing hints in ancient texts. The Sangam literature, revered in Tamil culture, speaks of this lost land and its connection to the origins of the Tamil people. Modern-day enthusiasts and alternative historians have drawn parallels between Kumari Kandam and the concept of Lemuria, another hypothesized lost continent. This has sparked debates, expeditions, and a fair share of fanciful theories, from underwater temples to mysterious artifacts. While mainstream science remains skeptical, Kumari Kandam continues to captivate imaginations, inspiring dreams of what might lie beneath the waves. It's a symbol of cultural pride, a reminder of the enduring human fascination with lost worlds, and a testament to the rich tapestry of myth and history that defines our quest for understanding our past. Number 13. The Land of Punt The Land of Punt, called the Land of the Gods by the ancient Egyptians, is believed to have been located in the area of modern-day Somalia, Ethiopia, or Yemen. It was an obsession of many Egyptian pharaohs, including Hatshepsut, who was enchanted by the idea of a place brimming with goods, exotic animals, and other riches of that time. Expeditions to find the land of Punt were elaborate affairs, laden with goods intended for trade. The most famous expedition, led by Hatshepsut herself, was immortalized on the walls of her temple at Deir el-Bahri. The carvings, commissioned by the queen, depict the Puntites as prosperous people living their best lives. Despite numerous expeditions and archaeological digs, the exact whereabouts of the land of Punt remains a mystery. Whether it is a real place or just a fantasy remains unanswered. Number 14. Xanadu Xanadu, the legendary summer capital of Kublai Khan's Yuan dynasty, is a place that oozes with opulence and mystery. A sprawling palace surrounded by lush gardens, exotic animals, and a landscape so beautiful that it inspired a famous poem. Located in what is now Inner Mongolia, Xanadu or Shangdu was where Kublai Khan would retreat to escape the summer heat. The palace itself was an architectural marvel, blending Chinese and Mongolian styles in a harmonious display of wealth and power. Imagine golden halls, intricate carvings, and a sense of grandeur that made every visitor feel like they had stepped into a fairy tale. Outside, the grounds were dotted with fountains, streams, and an assortment of exotic animals. European explorers like Marco Polo brought back tales of Xanadu that left their compatriots in awe. According to Polo, Xanadu was a city of marvels, where the Khan's court enjoyed unimaginable luxury and splendor. The city was so enchanting that it became a symbol of earthly paradise in the Western imagination. Today, the remnants of Xanadu are a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Number 15. Avalon The legendary city of Avalon from Arthurian tales blends magic, mystique, and medieval fantasy. Known as the resting place of King Arthur, this mist-shrouded island is described as an idyllic paradise. The name Avalon translates to Isle of Apples, as, according to legend, it is a land of eternal spring and abundant orchards. It's a place where knights can retire and the home of the powerful enchantress Morgan Le Fay. Hence, its association with powerful sorcery and arcane arts. Avalon is a place where harmony reigns, time stands still, and wounds are miraculously healed. King Arthur is said to lie there in wait, destined to rise in Britain's hour of greatest need. This legendary place has inspired countless poets and writers from medieval to modern times. 
and it remains a symbol of the undying spirit of chivalry. Number 16. Troy. The city of Troy, immortalized in Homer's epic poems, is a place where history and mythology intertwine with a dash of dramatic flair. Imagine a bustling ancient metropolis, its grand walls towering over the plains of Anatolia, filled with the hustle and bustle of daily life, vibrant markets, and of course, legendary warriors. According to legend, Troy was the site of the Trojan War sparked by the infamous abduction of Helen by Paris, which led to a decade-long siege by the Greeks. The city's king, Priam, and his valiant sons, Hector and Paris, fought bravely to defend their homeland. The Greeks, led by heroes like Achilles and Odysseus, tried every trick in the book to breach Troy's formidable defenses. They eventually succeeded with the cunning use of a giant wooden horse, famously known as the Trojan horse, which was less of a toy and more of a clever ruse filled with hidden soldiers. For centuries, many believed Troy to be purely mythical, a figment of poetic imagination. However, in the 19th century, the archaeologist Heinrich Schliemann rocked the academic world by unearthing what he claimed to be the ruins of Troy. While debates continue about the exact historical accuracy, the discovery adds a layer of intrigue and excitement to the tale. Number 17. Nan Madol. Venice of the Pacific, as Nan Madol is often referred to as, is an ancient city located on the eastern shore of Pompeii in Micronesia. It consists of almost 100 artificial islets interconnected by a network of canals. If you could imagine a metropolis surrounded by stone walls rising out of water, you would get a picture. The origin of the city is not clearly determined, with some giving credit to the Sudalur dynasty for building it. Some say that it was built with the help of magic or ancient aliens, because the building of the city seems impossible with the technology of that time. It served as a political center of the Sudalur dynasty, a place where nobility, priests, and chiefs could socialize and plot. Today, the area is overgrown and uninhabited, slowly being reclaimed by nature. Number 18. Kitej. In a tale that combines mystique, magic, and a splash of the supernatural, we find the Russian underwater city of Kitej. According to the legend, a magnificent city built by Prince Yuri II, when attacked by the Mongol invaders, had its residents praying for salvation. Their prayers were answered perhaps not in the way they expected, they were swallowed by the lake's water, becoming invisible to the invaders. The legends claim that on a particularly quiet night, you can hear the church bells ringing from beneath the water and that the city's domes shimmer beneath the lake's surface. Lake Svetloya still brings curious visitors, captured by this strange tale of a lost underwater city. Number 19. Biringan City Biringan City, a mythical metropolis in the Philippines, is the stuff of local legends and ghost stories, an enchanted city that appears only to those it chooses, filled with advanced technology and residents who are as mysterious as the city itself. According to folklore, Beringan City is hidden in the dense forests of Samar Island, but it's not your typical hide-and-seek game. This city is said to exist in a parallel dimension. The residents of Biringan, known as the Biringanon, are often described as beautiful and ethereal, with supernatural abilities. They can lure unsuspecting visitors into their realm, offering glimpses of their stunning futuristic world. But beware, those who enter might never return, as time and reality work differently in Biringan. Number 20. Hawaiki Hawaiki, the mythical homeland of the Polynesians, is like the ultimate ancestral paradise. A sun-soaked island brimming with lush vegetation, pristine beaches, and an eternal supply of coconuts. Essentially, the kind of place you'd want to be shipwrecked. According to Polynesian mythology, Hawaiki is the sacred origin of their people, the starting point of epic voyages across the Pacific. It's where the ancestors lived, thrived, and eventually set sail in their sturdy canoes to explore and populate the vast expanse of the ocean. The stories paint Hawaii as a utopia where the skies are always blue and the waters are crystal clear. Hawaii isn't just a physical location, it's also a spiritual concept. It's the place where souls return after death, a serene afterlife 
where ancestors await. This duality makes Hawaii a significant cultural touchstone, embodying both the beginning and the end of life's journey. That's all we've got for you today. Let me know in the comments about your favorite legendary lost cities. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification for more content we've got coming.